guys welcome back to the blonde psychic channel today we are doing a video on what is blocking you in your life so we're going to be talking about what energy is currently blocking you what obstacles are blocking you what is like is love blocking you what exactly is blocking you from moving on and getting the things you want in your life we're going to do some past life reads as well so maybe something from your past lives is blocking your future progress you never know so we're going to do two of your past life reads we're going to do energy blockers energy cards moonology cards um some action words and action letters to see if we can get some of the karmic cycle moving and what's blocking you and finally finish it off with a positive affirmation card we are using three of my decks today. We've got my past life decks. We've got my positive affirmation deck and my rude deck. If you want to purchase any of these decks, the link will be to, in the description box below. And thank you for taking the time out to watch this video and for liking and subscribing to my page. Mr. Percy is right next to me again as usual. He's making noise it's like he wants to say hello. He'll probably walk in front of the camera. And I apologise in advance as well if children or dogs come in because if you watch my channel regularly, you'll see that I have dogs or children that affect my videos that just pop up in videos. All right. So for my past life readings, um, I reveal seven of your past lives. In general, people have seven past lives in their lifetime. If you're psych very spiritual, you can have ten plus um, past lives whatever happens in our past life actually carries on to our future lives we carry characteristics on from our past lives into our future self and experiences from our past life make up who we are today for example i have revealed 10 of my past lives and each one of those past lives have factors in them or i have um, characteristics which i carry with me today they make you who you are Sometimes you don't have or learn a karmic lesson from your past life, so it comes into this past life with you. So some of you may have a karmic blockage from past lives. That's why I want to do some of the past life readings, and um, I'm only going to reveal two of your seven because I don't think we have time to go through all seven. If you'd like to watch my past life video, um, I'll link it below so you can watch it. I've done a review and a general read on my past lives. But if you'd also like to book a past life read with me, a personal one-on-one -on -one read, I'll leave the link below how to connect to me as well. Okay, so let's get into your reading. So what card are you drawn to? Card one is the gardener. Card two is the pilot. Card three is the politician. Are you drawn to pile one, gardener? Pile two, pilot, half liar. File three, politician. Which one are you drawn to? One, two, or three? One, two, or three. I will be writing down. I'm not going to do any. Um, why was I couldn't think of that word? I can always forget to remember that word. Automatic writing. I'm not going to do automatic writing. I do love automatic writing now. Mm -hmm. You can book a reading with me and do automatic writing if you like. But I'm just jotting down notes what you were in your past life. Past lives. I don't even know if you can see me doing this past lives group one so we've got gardener maybe of some relevance doesn't mean you have to be a gardener maybe you're just drawn to the garden maybe you're drawn to nature you have to think beyond the actual physical word number two is pilot path liar group three politician okay so they're the three cards we got what were you drawn to in the beginning? All right, so let's start with revealing your past lives, group number one. Group number one, welcome to your reading of what is blocking you in your life? What is stopping you from getting the things you want? What is currently going on in your life and your energy? Let's find out what one of your, sorry, two of your seven past lives were. I'm going to ask my guides and any spirits that may be around connecting to your energies connect to your energies and to also let me know what lives you need to know about now that may be of a karmic lesson for you that may be holding you back in your life or that you just need to know about 
So, Archangel Michael, my ancestor Victoria, and anyone else who's present, my angels, please let group one know what is relevant to them. What does the past life do they know or need to know about? Please connect to their energy. Please reveal true of their seven past lives to me. Thank you. Flowers just popped up again. So that definitely connects with the garden. Butterfly. Why did zombies come up? That was really weird. All right. Remember, guys, if none of this resonates with you, they are a general reading. They are going to be specific messages for specific people. But you were drawn to this pile for a reason. The reason being that maybe these past lives, all of it isn't relevant to you. The paths are relevant to you. So just watch the video through. We'll always choose another pile if it doesn't resonate. But take what does resonate and leave behind what doesn't. Okay, pile one. Let's get on with it. So, we're going to start with my past life deck. Let's find out what you were in your past life. I feel like the energy has been put into the cards now. Okay, group one. You were an adult in your past life. Adult. Farm hand also got told to me by a spirit. Thank you. Adult male or female. Can we get a male or female card? Animal or object, please. Adult female. Adult female you were in your first past life. Adult female. Okay. What time frame did we live in? Find out what time frame we lived in. Group one, please, for her adult female life. 1800. Can you guys see these cards? Are they? I realize it's so far out of frame, sorry. Adult female, 1800. Okay. What location were we in? Let's have a look. What location was that? Were we in as an adult female in the 1800s? Thank you. Indonesia. Indonesia. That really resonates with the gardening, farming, flowers, butterflies, farmhand. So you're a farmhand in Indonesia in the 1800s. See how it's all coming together? Um, we'll try and pull another occupation card, but I don't feel like we need to. We've got a lot of information already, but we'll just see. Spirit, do you want to sell anything else about adult female in the 1800s in Indonesia? Anything else will work. Let one fall if you want them. I'll count five, four, three, two, one. That one really wanted to come out. Politician came out. So maybe you were um, a princess, princess came to mind, or you were the daughter of a king or a tribal man and you actually had a lot of say in the running of the village. This is what I'm getting. Tribe, school leader. Okay. So for our first past lives for group number one, we got adult female, lived in the 1800s in Indonesia, okay? Your story's coming together. You're very influential. People really listen to you and really want to know what you had to say about certain situations. I feel like your father was a tribal leader or they were in like a court or they were on the board member of people that ran the actual island and... They were well known and listened to. And they actually, came, people came to you for advice. You were like a counsellor back in the day. Even though your everyday, day-to-day -day life was 
farm hand and working on the farm and providing food for your family. You love to be in touch with nature. You love to butterflies. You love to get out and about. You had a vivid, a vivid, a vivid imagination. I'm not sure why zombies came out. Maybe you had a fascination with the dead. You were very spiritual. But you were very good listener, a very good talker. You came up with answers to your problems. People actually came to you for advice. And I feel like that was one of your strongest traits. You were a leader in your own right. You didn't have a lot of money. But you just loved it, life every day. And you lived every day to its fullest. That's a really beautiful life to have. That was your first of your second. Sorry, first of your, your um. well, I can't speak right now. The first of your two readings of past life readings. Now let's um, get some idea about your second life reading. Past life reading, sorry. That's a really beautiful past life to have. That's really beautiful and vivid. I love it. Okay, we were. Oh, we got two cards straight away. Female child. So in your second past life, you were a female child. Love that that came out so fast. Thank you, Spirit. What time frame did we live in? Oh, 1100. So around 11, 1200. What was our location? Clocks. Clocks is coming up. One of three clocks. Female child, eleven hundred clocks, Rome pillars, snakes. These are just things that are coming to my mind straight away, so I'm writing them down so I don't forget them. About your second past life, what location were we in? Oh, please clarify. Where was it? Was it meant to have two locations? No, first one. Okay, so China came out first for you guys. I'm going to take China because two were not supposed to come out. China. And do we have a um, career attribute we can put to this child's personality or were they even working at that young age? Because I know back in the olden days they used to work quite young at a quite young age. We got two. We got servant and writer. Okay, so servant, writer. So I feel so you're a female child, eleven hundred in China. Back in the eleven um eleven hundreds in China, it would have been again very similar to your past. So you've had very similar past lives. You had Indonesia and China. Um, both Asian influenced countries and you've both had female genders um, adult and female and you've also had like so in China back in they would have worked in the wheat fields they would have worked in a um, rice fields they would have teas produced in China a lot um, so they would have been working a lot with their hands and in the fields as well very similar to their backgrounds but I feel like you were very intelligent child very very intelligent child you may be involved in service industry. So, again, working in the fields or working for someone at a young age. You loved writing and you're very creative. Even though you phys weren't physically writing, you were always drawing and doodling and you had a story to tell. Even remember, don't take the word physically. Look into the word more. That's what I do when I do a past life, past life read. I look into the word and the explanation more. I'm doing very brief ones right now because I have to get through all these videos. You were a servant and a writer, so you always have a vivid imagination and you love to tell a story. Roman pillars. I got that, uh, that um, those in my head and snake because I feel like you were fascinated with um, fighting and war and standing up for yourself. And you maybe even had a sense of wanting to go to war, but you couldn't because you were a child and you were a girl. Back there in the olden days, um, girls weren't allowed to go to war. But you very strong, very strong-minded. Um, 
a big fighter, always stood up for what you believe in. Very, very similar to past lives, the one and two. So I wonder if any of these characteristics carry on or are with you now in 2020 in your current life. Let me know in the comments if any of these attributes or characteristics are you now. So this is what we do. We go through all your past lives and we find the characteristics and match up what you're like now. Okay, so that's your past life read. So let's check your current energy. Spirit, please let me know about group one's current energy or what's blocking them in their life. These are really fun lit reads. I love doing past life reads, guys. Really fascinate me. Can we please get some information on... Thank you, that one to come out. What's blocking group number one? Thank you. I'll grab a couple more. What's blocking group number one? Can we get some more cards, please? What have we got here? Oh, storm warning, daughter value, woman holding a heart, walking away, and action. Okay, guys, clear story here. Some of you have been hurt in love, some of you have huge hearts. And you love love. You love being in a relationship. You love having a partner. You l just love love, as I said. You put yourself out there and you put everything in a relationship when you're in one. You thrive and love being in a relationship. You put your heart on your sleeve and wear your heart on your sleeve. And women holding a heart, that's you. Even if you're male watching this, the genders can split. It does not matter. Just because I'm speaking about a female, the roles can be reversed as well, okay? You love love. You're a lover. But you have been hurt in love. This is a storm warning. You've recently broken up. Someone's broken your heart. There's been a fight. And you stood up for yourself. That's what I feel. Usually you're timid and quiet and shy. And you just let your partner or partner's... Um, get away with what they've done but this time something's happened doesn't even have to be a relationship could be with family or friend something's happened the storms come you stood up for yourself and you didn't they didn't like the response that you did you took action and you stood up for yourself this is what one of your blockages was in the past you would never stand up for yourself you're very shy and timid the leadership roles from your past lives didn't come through, but I feel like they're coming through now in your lives. You took action, stood up for yourself, and you walked away from the situation. You saw your value in yourself. This is what was blocking you, though. You didn't see your self-worth and your value. You always stayed in what was what you knew instead of walking towards your future and walking towards a better future. Your self-value and self-worth wasn't there. I got that straight away when I was actually shuffling a card. I thought, self-value. Someone's going to come through with self-value. That is a beautiful reading. You're great lovers. You wear your heart on your sleeves. There was a fight. You did hold yourself back. You always let people walk all over you. But you took action. You stood up. You were that strong little girl from, in, from China. The one that was fascinated by roams and battles. And you were that, was that strong counsellor leader from Indonesia and those those past lives come back and revisited you and you took action and you stood up for yourself and you walked away from a situation knowing you wanted better and the daughter value you're walking away to a better future for yourself that's what was holding you back the strength to walk away the strength to want better in your life the strength to stand up to people or a certain person Wow, some strong messages coming through here for group number one. Let's check your moonology deck. What other messages do we have for group one? What's holding them back? 
What blockages do they currently have in their life? to come out do we want more do we have any more messages do we want more do we have any more messages for group number one thank you oh there's a lot of messages there i don't need that many can i have a few more messages please for group one these cards are not coming out tonight guys you're really stuck on your energy thank you okay We've got, again, wow. You're very fearful people. You're very scared. As I said, you're scared of walking away. You let fear hold you back. And you're scared of not knowing what's out there for the future for you. You're scared of finding better for yourselves. Your self-value or self-belief wasn't quite there. This is what was holding you back. Working through your fears. Work through your fears. Know that there's better out for you and there's always better life waiting for you. A fiery climax approaches. As I said, there is that storm warning, com warning coming. You've got it twice now. I think it's a self-realization light bulb moment in your head where you're going to go, yep, I'm not taking this life anymore. I want more for myself and I want better in my life. And it's saying surrender to the divine full moon. Look into your intuition. You're very strong people. You're very spiritual, I'm feeling. You know there's a better world waiting out there for you. Surrender to the divine. Seek help. Pray to whatever you believe in, your higher self, your higher being, the universe. Just pray. Ask for guidance. But I feel like you already know what's blocking you and what you need to do to walk away and get a better situation happening in your life. All right. This is my rude deck. Blonde Psychic rude deck. Let's get some more answers to what's blocking you. Oh, that one flew out. Two flew out, thank you. What else do we want to tell group number one about blockages? Oh, thank you. Okay, we've got just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't understand. See, you're shying away. You're just letting people walk all over you. You're turning your back on the situation. You're pretending you don't care and you're letting people walk all over you. This is one of your major blockages. It's come up a few times now. Sometimes I need what only you can provide, your absence. See, you need to walk away from this person or the person that's causing you a problem. Walk away from the situation, show them your absence and don't go back. You'd be good. You'd be in good shape if you ran as much as you ran your mouth. Someone is really walking all over you, group number one. They're taking advantage of your good nature and your good spirit and taking advantage of you. I feel like it's more physically, like you take care of them, or mentally, they're, ta they're taking advantage of you. You're caring for them, you're giving your all, they're giving nothing back. These are the blockages you need to overcome to step towards your future that you know is waiting for you. Get some more blockages from the Rebel deck. It's another favourite one of mine. I have lots of favourite different ones. One, two, let's get one more. Okay, thank you. Oh, I said there was a heartbreak, didn't I? Or maybe you broke their heart. They broke your heart. Yeah. Fuck them. Realisation, light bulb moment. They broke your heart, you're going to get revenge or you um, forgive and go back to them, but you're going to walk away from them, you're going to wake up. You are giving away your power, wow. Is this like the universe just talking to me and just confirming everything I'm saying? You are giving away your power. You are a badass, act like it, see? You're taking your power back, you're giving it away. You're going to step into this, this realisation of taking your power back and living your best life crazy how eerie this reading is have you eaten you are acting like a big ass baby you need food in your belly eat a fucking taco <laughs> it's remember this is not literally talking about food it's talking about your feeling self in the feeling unfulfilled within yourself your self-worth is at an all-time low you need to refill your soul you need to rejuvenate your soul and start living again 
and doing things that you want to do in life and start putting yourself second and start putting yourself first for once. Walk away, start again, know there's new out there waiting for you. Okay, action words. I told you a child's going to come in. Yes, Gemma, I'm recording. I'll... Don't let the girls in. If you want to, take him. Yep, still recording. All right, let's get some action words. Percy doesn't want to leave. I'm not going to stop this recording. All right, let's get some action words. What wants to come out for group number one? Okay. We have... Beautiful backing me up again. A bow tie, see? You're a precious gift. You're forgetting about yourself. You're forgetting how precious you are. You're putting yourself last and not putting yourself first. You are a precious gift. Remember that. Rose quartz. Some of you need to go out and even buy a rose quartz stone. Meditate with it. And he, some of you need to heal your heart chakra as well. I feel like you'd do well to heal all your chakras, but especially your heart chakra. Put your rose quartz stone under your, like in your bra or on your chest, over your, above your heart. Meditate to it. You need to fill yourself with self-love once again. We've got what? We've got the letters L, B. We've got two B, so that's very pro um, prominent here. And A. And E. We've got able. Oh, wow. Look, that literally spells able. Wow. See? Spirit is talking to you guys. Able. You are able to do this. You are strong enough to walk away. A, B, L, E. What? You're asking, what's my blockages? Ability. Your ability to walk away, your ability to see yourself worth, your ability to see yourself future, a better life and a better future for yourself. Wow, I am so shocked that that just happened. So it's going to happen within one year. Self-love, see? It's twice you've got self-love. Within three years, you're going to have the amazing future that you want. Plan it before you reap the rewards. Write it out. Meditate with the rose quartz. Do the work on yourself. Self-love. Meditate. Even write, I don't know, I see you guys doing a vision board to do the future that you want. Um, just taking taking control of your life. you got no. That's the life you're currently living. No, you're not happy. Within five years, you're going to be like married with children. That's what I'm seeing. And it's going to happen fast. Once you watch this video, you're just, it's going to happen fast and go. You're going to be like, light bulb, done. I want my better life. It is happening. Go. Make it happen. I can literally not believe that Abel came out. A-B-L-E. I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see it. Look. A. B. L. You guys are full of self-doubt. And you don't think anything's better out there for you? You're able to do it. You have the ability to do it. Spirit's told you you're able. Put the self-belief back in yourself. Do the work for yourself. Don't worry about anyone else. Put yourself first. That's what's blocking you, yourself. Self-belief. Let's finish with a positive affirmations card from my little engine that could deck. What do we want to finish off this reading with? Keep your face to the sunshine and you can't see a shadow, see? Confirmation again. Always look forward towards the sun. Focus on what you want. Put yourself first. And then once you realise this, and you can have a beautiful future waiting ahead of you. Wow. Can't believe how amazing that read was, group number one. Thank you so much for watching it. I really enjoyed doing it. Really, really enjoyed it. Remember your warrior women from your past lives? If you'd like to book a more in-depth past life reading with me, not a problem. I'll put my contact details below. Make sure you go and watch my other past life deck reading. And take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Group number two, welcome to your reading. Um, this is about what is blocking you in your life. So I had a bit of a pause there from reading because group ones was quite long. So I went and got some water. And I felt, felt very propelled to bring into your reading my necklace with my ear will eye on it, my hamster. I feel like some of you need to be protected. Some of you 
are actually in danger and some of you need to be protected. I don't know why I feel so compelled to bring this in for group number two, but I'm going to try and leave it there throughout your reading. Let's see if we can get a, a feel onto why I need to bring this into your reading. I'm not sure why. I just feel pulled to do it. So maybe some of you are in danger, some of you not in the greatest place at the moment. But let's get into your reading a bit more to try and reveal what's going on. So you were drawn to the pilot or high flyer cards. So let's just channel some messages about what we can get, what messages we can get. This guy is coming through. Why is Hippopotamus coming through? Twilight's coming through. Reading. And Mana. So, Pilot Half Life, Sky, Hippo, Twilight, Reading, Mana. Let's look into this a bit more. So, as I said, if you watched the introduction of this video, we are going to reveal two of your seven past lives. Um, it, in my past life readings, I reveal seven of your past lives and really look into um, your story of your past life because we do carry characteristics of our past lives into our current lives. So you may have some karmic blockages or you may have some characteristics in your current lives that you still carry with you today. Okay. Can we get some karmic some messages, please, for group number two about who they were in a past life? If you'd like to book a past life reading with me, um, contact me below. I also put, did a review and a reading of a past life deck. So going back to this feeling, this energy, guys, of heaviness and withdrawal and not being okay. Some of you are not okay. Keeps coming up. So in your past life, you're an adult. Like my whole body's gone like heavy. You're an adult female. Okay, what time frame did you live in? Let's have a look. What time frame did group number true's first life living so after the death of christ so we were adult female ad let's try and get your location now remember when i get the words like Pilot. They won't have. They wouldn't have had pilots in AD times after death of Christ times. Don't look at the words so literally. It could literally mean um, flying. You like the finer things in life. Oh, and you were in Jerusalem. Look, Jerusalem. Look, Jerusalem. Very biblical. Very spiritual. Wow. Um, yeah, so don't look at the word so literally. Um, could mean, so high flyer or pilot. And I actually got sky and twilight. So maybe you were fascinated with the sky. Maybe you like to watch birds fly. Maybe you love nature. We'll put it together once I get the last bits of information. And this is um, any other attributes of your characteristics or job title. For your first past life. We've actually got two. We've got pilot high flyer again. Wow. See? And politician. Okay. Let me just write these down. Politician. Okay. Okay. One, two. Alright. So you guys, let's look at your story for your first past life. So as I said, pilot high flyer. And twi with twilight and sky, you were obviously fascinated with the sky, obviously the dusk time. You were literally fascinated with birds or creatures that could fly, even butterflies, dragonflies, um, any creatures that could fly. 
you're obviously um, fascinated with water or drawn to water because you do get hippo, but hippos literally don't mean to mean hippo. It could be um, what the hippos represent. Even the shape of them, like heaviness, burden, that was the energy that was coming up as I was um, writing hippo. So maybe it just reflects your current reading, your energy and the mood. Um, reading, you love to read. Um, you, you were well off. You were taken care of. I feel like you were in a like a harem type living situation. Um, you lived. You're an adult female. You lived in Arthur's death of Christ. You're in Jer Jerusalem, and you did get politician. But so you're obviously um, people came to you for advice. Or you're well, like you're a leader in your community among the women. You're a leader in the women. Maybe you were the first of you know how men had. Um, Lots of wives back in those days. I feel like you were the first of the women. You were the leader of the household. You showed people what to do. People looked up to you and um, looked to you for advice. So very strong characteristic there for your first life. And even maybe I was pulled to, to pull this um, evil out because Jerusalem, Hebrew, you know, that's where it comes through from. Maybe that's the um, connection here. I was pulled to pull, pulled to pull that. <laughs> I was pulled to pull that, but there was some real heavy energy, guys. I'm not gonna lie. All right, for your second, second one of your um, past lives. Let's see what you were. A female child. Same as group number one. Female child. I cannot make this up. Seeing me do it live, female child. What time frame did you live in? What time frame did group number two live in their second um, past life? Before Christ. Wow. You guys are spiritual. You got before and after Christ. If you get Jerusalem again, whew, I will just be speechless. What location were group number two in? As a female child before Christ, in their time before Christ. So you're in the Northern America, so the American um, area. So obviously America wasn't around before Christ, but you were in that continent, okay? Okay, let's try and get some more characteristics about... You might have been working back then, you never know. Like it might remember, don't take the word so literally. Oh, that flipped over. Let's see what that is. Gardener, there we go. As a child. Alright. Sorry, for your second life, you were a child. Female before Christ. American continent. Maybe you're American Indian. Um, gardener, and look at the bottom of the deck energy, farmer, definitely, definitely drawn to the earth, okay, so, let's, can I channel any more words, spirit, do you want to let group number two know anything else about their second life, past life, bird, prey, Talk, love, soul, river. Okay. Very drawn to um, nature. As I said, you got farmer and gardener as bottom deck energy. You loved being out in nature. You loved being in the woods. You were very spiritual as well. <clears throat> Maybe even went hunting. Bird of prey. Bird of prey came out. I didn't even realize that. Bird of prey came out. So you were a hunter. You were strong as a child. Even though you're a girl, you acted like a boy. You're very strong. And you um, went on hunts and you just lived and you were a wild little run amok. That's what I'm getting. You loved to talk. You loved your family. Your soul was just alive with happiness. And I do feel like you were Native American. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, guys, now let's look at your current energy. 
let me know if you have any of those characteristics that I just read out in your past lives. Um, any of it resonates. Remember, we do carry characteristics from our past lives into our, whoa, current lives. Wow. This is your current energy. Those cards flew out. Oh. Oh, no, I said that for group one. They need to heal their heart chakra. It's come out for you guys, but it could be just talking about your um, strong heart and your love. That's one of your karmic lessons that's coming into play with your, from your past life. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for bringing all these cards out. Have a look. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of connections and characteristics from your past, guys, about what's blocking you. Okay. So you're, you're very strong people. Very strong people. Very strong. That's not what's blocking you. It's showing. Sometimes you doubt yourself. You don't believe in yourself and you forget how strong you are. That's one of the things that are blocking you. You forget about your strength. Look at that angel. You've got a lot of angels around you guys because you've got one, two, three. I'm going to show you all these angels. Look, one, two, three, four angels. Four angels have shown up for you guys, especially Archangel Raphael. You guys need to pray to Archangel Raphael and ask him to help you with your, with your blockages. Okay. There's a lot going on with love here. So I feel like you guys are forgetting how strong you are. You're such strong, independent people. That's what I'm getting. Something's going on with you guys and love. You've got a caring connection here. Someone's not seeing your worth. You're being blindsided by love. You're, let some, you're letting somebody walk all over you. Or you're doing too much for somebody and it's blindsiding you. You're forgetting about your strength. See, then that's what I mean, goddess of the moon. It's like devil energy. You're not using your intuition to see that this person is blindsiding you and not putting in the effort that you are. You're forgetting about your strength. You're forgetting about um, yourself and you're letting them walk all over you. Very similar to group number one. You're a very patient person. You're waiting for this person to change. That's what I feel. You're waiting for them to change. But they're not going to change. They are your blockage. They are your devil energy. You're addicted to them. They are not going to change. This is why you got angel of love. And you need to heal your heart chakra. You literally got angel of love. And archangel Raphael. Fourth chakra which is the heart chakra. You, need, you guys need to let go of this devil energy. Remember how strong you are. This person's not going to change, even though you're patiently waiting, it's not going to happen. This person is your blockage, it's your devil energy. You have four angels looking over you. Let them help you, let them guide you, walk away. That's what the clear message is. This is why I needed to bring the evil eye in, because you guys need to be protected from this person. This person is your devil energy. You need to go get yourselves an evil eye or a black tourmaline stone. Meditate, heal your heart chakra, know that you are worth more. Know that you are better than that. Remember the female child, little Native American girl. Remember how strong she was. She was so strong-willed. You got a lot about strength in your past life readings and then you need to remember, maybe this is your karmic lesson from your past lives. You were so strong back then and you're letting your strength not shine through now. You got it twice. Little, Afri little Native American woman shining through going out and hunt even though she's a girl and boys were only allowed to do that she still went on the hunt she still caught, caught, caught the bird of prey i literally wrote bird of prey down didn't even realize i wrote it and you were the leader of your harem back in jerusalem you were the one in charge you were the one that was taking control you were the strong leader where's that woman gone well remember if you're male watching this the roles are reversed okay Roles can be reversed. You need to take your strength back. Okay. What have we got here? 
actually got four. Wow. Wow. You are good enough, see? You're not remembering your strength. The universe is telling you. You are good enough. Remember your strength. Step out of your comfort zone. You guys are comfortably, patiently waiting for this person to change. They're not going to change. You need to walk away. You need to take action and walk away. It's time to take action. Walk away. Remember your strength. Remember the person who you are. And hold your vision. Hold the vision of the life and the love that you want. Don't let that go. Focus on that. And take action and walk away. Protect your heart. Heal your heart. Okay, this is my Swan Psychic Brood Deck. So let's get some more messages of what's blocking you guys. If you want to purchase any of my decks as well, you can from the link below. If you want to book a full past life reading with me, I'll put the link below. Make sure you watch my past life videos as well. I'll link that below. I've got a lot to link below, don't I? Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. I always laugh every time I read these cards. Okay. All right. So, zombies eat brains. You're safe. You're not using your brain at the moment. You're all up in lust, love land. You're waiting for this person to change. They're not going to. Your brain is like in zombie mode. You're not using it. If you think nobody cares, if you're alive, try missing a few car payments. To you, this person is your everything. You don't care about anyone else. You're not enjoying yourself. You're not going out with your friends. You're not going to work, some of you even. You're not doing the things you usually would do day to day in your day to day lives. You are just living for them. This is a big blockage. The universe is saying, whoops. What is going on here? Stop. Get back to who you really are. Get back to your day-to-day -day life. Get back to being happy and living. Let's share. You'll take the grenade and I'll take the pin. You are literally wanting this with life for this person. You're blindsided by them. You're seeing nothing else. This is what you want. You want to take the grenade with them and they'll take the pin. You want to be equal partners with them, but it's just not happening. They're just not coming to the party. Okay. Rebel deck. Any more messages for group number two? Not too many. We just want a few. Thank you. I'll take that one. All right, we'll take all three of them. Spirit's saying, just take all three. We got winning. You you got a good thing going. Don't win that shit. That doesn't make sense. Winning. You got a good thing going, don't win that shit. Literally is saying you have a good future waiting. You don't win it, you create it. You're the shit. Don't forget it. You that's what I said in the beginning of this reading. You are so strong. You are forgetting your strength. You are giving too many fucks. Give zero. That's what I mean. The universe is telling you again and again and again, give zero fuck, walk away from this person. They are not good for you. Let's get some action words about what's blocking you. Universe spirits, what do you want to tell group number two about what's blocking them? What's blocking group number two? Any other action words? Okay, we have plant the seeds. Plant the seeds to create your new life that you want. This is my Blonde Psychic Action Deck. It's a really cute little deck. What are that one as well, if you like? You literally got the initials N and V. Relevant to some of you. You got August, June, September, and not going to happen. See? The future of this person is not going to happen. But you also got September, June, and August. Relevant to some people. Could be birth dates, could be the date you leave this person or met this person important date to some of you okay group number two we're finishing off with my positive affirmations deck to finish off the reading what do we want to tell group number two 
about their lives. Life changes very quickly in a very positive way if you let it. See? Always put yourself first. Remember your strength. Walk away from what doesn't serve you. Remember how special you are and strong you are. Beautiful, beautiful reading there. Group two, remember the strong women you were in your past lives. Remember that. Get back to that strength. Very clear message about needing to get back to your strength there, okay? Get back to that beautiful person. Karmic lesson was you're not listening to who you were in your past lives. You're ignoring your shadow side. You're ignoring that strong woman within yourself. Go out and buy yourself a third eye necklace or a black tourmaline. You need to be protected at the moment. You need to heal your heart chakra and you need to walk away from this negative life. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, look out for my new readings and please connect with me and watch my other readings. Thank you so much, Group 2. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your heart. Take care. Bye-bye. Group number three, welcome to your reading of what is blocking you. As stated in the intro, if you watched the, if you watched, watch the intro of this video, we are going to be looking at true of your seven past lives. If you would like to book, book, book a past life reading with me, please do so via the link below. Cont get in contact with me. I will also put up um, the link to buy my decks. This is my past life deck. I've done a review. And a quick video on it as well in the past. I'll put that link below as well. So let's get into your reading about what's blocking you in life. I'll just let you briefly know in case you didn't watch the intro of this video. The reason I'm doing two of your seven past lives is because I don't have time to do a seven in this video for a start. But um, some of us need to learn karmic lessons from our past. That could be blocking you guys. That's why I'm referencing to the past life readings and we all carry characteristics from each of our seven past lives into our life that we're living now so some strong characteristics may be revealed may not re be revealed through these reads this may resonate for some of you may not for the others so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't if it doesn't try a different pile or just know that this message wasn't for you okay all right, so that definitely wanted to come out. So you're an adult. Adult. And you also got politician, remember? But don't look at things so, I sort of said in the other groups, don't look at things so, um, so, I can't even think of the word now. So you get politician, you mean you might be a judge, you might be um, justice, police, law, law enforcement, might be just someone you look to for advice. Look more into the word, okay? So you've got adult male for your first past life. Adult male. Let's write this down. Let's get the time that you lived in. What year did group number three live in for their first past life? And I've asked Spirit to connect you to the, um, the 1700. To the life that you need to mo mostly about. What area did you live in? Italy? I wonder if you love spaghetti. <laughs> Italy. And let's see what else we can get about jobs or characteristics for your character. Oh, you got two. So you got animal caregiver and queen or princess. Okay, straight away, what came to mind just then through channeling more messages is you were an advisor for royalty, for the royal house. Wow. So you're an adult male in your first past life in 1700 Italy. You were royal advisor to the royal house to a queen or the princess of Italy in 1700. Wow, that's a lot of strong, strong characteristics there, group number three. Wow. Very strong, very well educated, very opinionated. People listened to you. They took your advice and royalty even took your advice. You were high up in society. Wow, that's crazy. 
that's such a strong past life to live and you loved animals you were drawn to animals i feel like dog and cats and birds even you had a lot of animals around as well let me write that down okay let's look at your next past life and you can even be objects or animals in your past life you don't have to actually be people I wonder if you'll get an object or an animal now I said that if you actually get object object or animal actually just manifest what the animal is what the object is oh my god I can't make this stuff up look look what just came out of me shuffling and talking about objects look what came this is a strong reading these are a strong bunch of people wow so you're an object in your second life what kind of object was group number three in the past life candle straight away candle so you're a candle in your past one of your past lives that's crazy you're probably thinking you're a bit crazy donna but no when i was taught how to do past life readings this came up some people, I was, I was questioning it too, but it, I, you've got to go with it. You've got to go with what you're taught. And what comes up? 1400. And occupation. Sorry, not op occupation, location. What location was group number three? Egypt. Wow, that would have been exciting. So you were a candle not make this up candle object 1400 Egypt Wow obviously you're very strong you kept people warm you're very light-hearted you you lit the way for people to see so that's what I mean about looking don't look at the word straight away do you think how can I be a candle a bloody candle you were a candle you lit the way for people to see. You were the light back in the darkness. These characteristics could be characteristics about what you are now. You people, you light the way for people through their dark times. See what I mean? You need to take the characteristics that I'm talking about and put them into today's embodiment of yourself. All right, let's get some more information about your energy, your current energy on what's blocking you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow, they've got those very strong cards. All right, we'll take them. Too. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so straight away we're getting um, two, two of the things that are holding you back. Your boundaries, or what's blocking you, sorry, are, is your anxiety and is your hosti hostil oh my God. hostilities. You're being, your hostility and your anxiety. You're very scared. You're in your head a lot. You're thinking there's nothing better out there for me. You're very hostile to the world, towards the world. And you don't even want to be out in the world. You're very scared. That's what I'm seeing. Look. You're scared to take the step, the garden and the gate. You're scared. You've got that little scared girl there. You're scared to take a step beyond, outside of your world, outside of your gate. Because you're up in your head. You're feeling hostile. You're scared to step through your gate. But look what's beyond the gate. Look at that beautiful world beyond the gate. There's sunshine. There's butterflies. There's a beautiful fresh air. A beautiful fresh air. There's beautiful fresh air. There's a country. There's a lot of beautiful things. You just got to step outside of that gate. I feel like you guys have the ability to have victory over these boundaries what's blocking you i keep saying boundaries because 
I feel like they're boundaries within yourself. They're in your head, a lot of them. And you know how to change that yourself. You know how to manifest and change it yourself. And you will have victory over this. You will get out of this hostileness and out of this anxious state. You got the magician. You got the victory card. It will happen. It's only going to happen when you're ready, though. When you're ready to take the step through that gate into that beautiful new world. And it's saying you need to heal your crown chakra. Archangel Uriel is with you. Pray to Archangel Uriel. Do some research into how to heal your um, crown chakra. But it's talking about your head as well. See? You're in your head a lot. You're very anxious. You're overthinking things. You need to do some meditation and clear that anxious energy away. Okay. You need to get to that back to that so this is one of your karmic lessons see this is what i was talking about you have two karmic lessons here wow okay so you were an adult male 1700 italy a royal advisor how strong-willed do you have to be to advise royalty you were also a candle in 1400 egypt you lit the way for people in the darkness do you see what i'm saying here Look how strong you were in the past. You were an influencer. You advised royalty. You lit the way through the darkness. You need to get back to that state of mind. This is why I do past life re chose to do past life readings as a little bit of this reading because characteristics from your past are always with you. You need to get back to that. Wow. Very strong messages for group number three here. Thank you, thank you. Yep, beautiful. So a time for healing, as I said, time for healing. You have the ability to heal yourself. You have it within you. You have the ability to have victory over your anxiousness and hostility. You can do it yourself. And look at this, a time for prosper a t <laughs> prosperity lies ahead and a time to give rather than take. You need to give back to yourself, heal yourself, work on yourself, work on the things you love. Don't be so scared. Think about that, your past lives. Think about how strong you were. You need to know that lies within you and you can get back to that, okay? This is my Blonde Psychic Group deck. You can purchase this below if you like. I'll leave the link. All right, let's get some more messages about what's blocking you. When did I get there? Two. We'll take two. And from the Rebel deck, let's have a look. What messages do I want to give group three about what is blocking them? One. Okay, we'll take one. Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Maybe you are something is going on in social media. Maybe something's happening in your group of friends. You're clearly being told here to put the phone down. Get out about nature. And get out of your head. Don't worry about what people think of you. Sorry, don't worry about what people think. They do it. They don't do it very often. This is showing that you're not thinking about good things that can come to you. You're only thinking about the negative. Get out of your head. Get out in nature. Change the way you think and your life is going to change dramatically. It's okay if you don't like me. Not everyone has good taste. You know your self-worth. You know you're a good person. I feel like you've lost some friends through this shutting yourself in and being in your head too much and you need to get back to that lively beautiful soul that you are that strong advisor that you are all right let's get some action words for group number three what do you want to tell group three what have we got so you, a change is coming see you're going to be the change that you need to be and it's going to happen you're going to realize and it's going to happen quickly i feel Fit. Maybe some of you aren't um, taking care of your body. 
than what you're putting in with your body and you go to the gym and this change is going to happen. You realise you are a precious gift. You wake up to yourself and you see that you're a precious gift. you got the letters V and J. Could be relevant to you then. See, it's going to happen soon. This change is going to happen soon. you got within two years, October and July, March. March, October, July. Could be birthdays, could be relevant to you guys. And educate yourself more. See? Change in the way you think and your whole mindset is going to change. It's all about putting the work in and getting back to those strong people you were in your past lives. That is within you. Don't forget that. Finishing the reading off with my positive affirmations deck, The Little Engine That Could. If you haven't read that book, go read it. It's an amazing book. Very strong storyline in that. Okay. Keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. Always look to the positive in life. Change the way you think. Always stay positive. Don't look behind. Don't look at the past. Forget the past. Let it go. Manifest what you want to happen in your world. Change your world. Change the way you think. Eat everything about yourself. That's what I'm feeling. You need to a whole mind overhaul and your whole world's going to change. Group number three. You is what is blocking you. Yourself is what's blocking you. Your mind is what's blocking you. That is your strong message today. Get back to that light, that candle spirit that you were. Get back to that strong legal advisor that you were. You, you advise for royalty. Come on. It doesn't get any better than that. I hope you enjoyed this reading, group number three. Thank you. It was an honor to read for you. I really enjoyed it. I'm smiling from ear to ear because I really love doing these readings for you guys. Thank you so much. Please connect with me on Facebook. Please like, subscribe and share and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.